Hello everyone, welcome in Cool IT Help. Guys, this is the uh, another tutorial on the Table Row Expander tutorial. So in my first tutorial, you have seen that we have added the Table Row Expander column without using the FXML. But in this video tutorial, I will show you how you can use the FXML to add the Table Row Expander column. So guys, I will use this basic setup and uh, this is the basic project I am going to use. You will get the download link of this project in the description. So first download this project and add in your NetBeans IDE and you can start with me with this tutorial. Guys, are you ready? Let's get started. Once you add, once you run, you will see this table view. Okay, so here in this table view example, you will see all these stuff fxml fxml controller and the person the data model for uh, storing the object inside the table view okay after that we will create this extra node dot fxml so first we will see what we have created inside the extra node dot fxml it's very simple we have to create a small arrangement to display inside the table row expander view okay so we are creating this kind of view so simply i have used a pan on that pan we have added this uh, name label then a text field email then a text field save and cancel button so first we are focusing to display this arrangement inside the table row expander column view okay so this only this arrangement i have done here okay after that we can enhance this to use the save and cancel functionality okay so fxml is ready here now in this ready-made project now we will go inside the fxml document controller and simply we have to use this line of code this is very simple here we are going to create the table row expander column object okay to do this we have to use the control fx jar in a class path so guys you will get the download link of the control fx jar in the description so download and add in your netbeans id class path okay and here the most important thing i have already told you in my first in the first tutorial of uh, table row expander okay so here we have to call this way this double colon create editor method calling and here come down we have to create this method so method is ready this is the code of the method this is very simple i will explain you everything so just I have copied and pasted this method here. So this method is simply returning the pan, the arrangement we have made, but the parameter we have to use is very important. Table row expander column dot table row data features and data features type is person okay so this argument will be this object will be initialized by the container it's just like a dependency injection okay and with the help of this argument you will get the current row object okay but right here in this example i am just focusing to display that fxml the extra node fxml in the table row expander view so we have done the simple coding here so this is the simple arrangement to load that fxml fxml loader dot load get class dot get resource this is the basic thing to load an fxml okay and we got the pan object and then we are returning the pan object from this create editor method okay and the table row expander column will be initialized with the help of this pan and you will be able to see that arrangement 
okay then you have to add this column here at line number 61 just before the first column we have done now we will take a clean build and we will see the result okay build is successful now and i am going to run this okay here we go so the stage is uh, appearing now and you can see the uh, toggle button is appearing i will click now you can see wow it's working and we got the fxml arrangement here the name text field email text field and the save and cancel button is appearing uh, with this row once you click and this expanded view is looking awesome and this is the arrangement is very useful to update the information that you want from the client that he can update okay once you click another so you will see the each row have a uh, the corresponding expanding view and okay and there's a name email field text field input text fields available to edit the corresponding row information so the purpose of uh, showing this uh, example with the help of xml to show you how you can use the fxml as well to achieve the same thing that we have uh, done with the coding in my previous example so you guys can enhance and you can write more code to update the name and email of this row okay and once you press the save button so that information will be updated here in the first row so i'm leaving uh, this as an exercise for you so you guys Please enhance this and achieve the same functionality that we have in our we have seen in the previous video tutorial of table row expander column. So guys, uh, if you have any doubts, please comment. Uh, I will try my best to reply as soon as possible. And guys, if you found this video useful, so please like this video and subscribe my channel. Also, if you want the latest video update, so please press the bell icon and you will get the latest video update very first. And guys, for now, thanks for watching. Cool IT help.